Now what I want to do is build out a vignette model. I want to just create a very simple, lightweight, di diagrammatic model that isolates the issue that I want to address. All right, so first things first, I'm going to activate my rectangle tool and I'll just tap the up arrow key and let's just draw like maybe I'll say 96 comma 96 enter. So now we have our slab set up there. I can push and pull this down. I'm going to call this slab six inches. Again, the slab thickness doesn't totally matter right now. I'll make that into a group and you know what? I am going to scale this guy over to here. That looks good. All right. Now the other part of this that I want to build is going to be the uh, large concrete walls. Uh, this wall here was actually existing, which was kind of cool. I'm going to call this like eight comma eight enter and then uh, pull it up by 97 enter like that. And you know what? I'm just going to push this down by 12. All right. So we're just going to assume a floor thickness of 12. We'll go like that. And you know what? I'll just pull this down. That's fine. We're going to make this into a group. So with my select tool, I triple click, make group, and then I'm going to draw another, let's see, we'll just draw another rectangle on top of this. I'll push pull that by 12 inches, um, 12, and then we'll just pull it this way enough that it looks right. All right, cool. Everything is a group. So I triple click on the geometry, right click, make group. Let's keep going here. So now I'm going to make a copy of this guy to here, and then I'm going to move it over at 172 enter. All right. So now um, this from here to here is 172 inches on the run. Okay. Now, um, and you know what, as I'm going through this, I am going to chip away a little bit. I also want to turn this corner. I'm going to use my push pull tool, tap control. And let's make this wall like 15 inches thick uh, and then I'll pull it this way and I'm not sure how far we're going to go. Let me see here. Let's bring this back. So that's where that guy sits. Um, I'm going to pull it straight back to, we're going to pull it back to this edge for now. All right, there we go. So now that's where that sits and then I'll scale out this floor like that. And this slab could probably go further like over to here. So now uh, then we can pull this wall up and I might just throw a guideline so I can continue to see this wall. We'll say it goes up to there. The actual height of this wall is not what's important. Uh, that's not going to be something that we dimension. That just is. Now, uh, as I'm orbiting around, notice that you're getting like this uh, flickering effect. What I found is that if you go to view, face style x-ray that will drastically <laughs> help that flickering you know it just kind of gets rid of it let's continue to get these uh, set up in here and um, so now we're going to copy up by 121 and 7 eighths so i'll just use my move tool tap control option on the mac to make a copy move my cursor to suggest a direction, and then I'm going to type in 121 space seven slash eight, enter. All right, using my tape measure tool, I can just verify that. I always like to just kind of look at it and see that it's 121.875, that looks good to me. All right, so there we go. Now the run on this guy is 156.5. All right, so let's see if I can like nail this down here. So we're going to go off the face of this is going to be 156.5 enter. Now, here's what I'm recalling is that like this and this need to scoot to here like that. That's the overhang that I'm, I'm so cautiously getting hung up on over here. Okay, so now let me, let me clear my guides. My shortcut for that is control E. And so now if I measure this, all right, so 156.5 on my run on that second floor. And that 156.5 is kind of going like this, really. All right, so that's good. Downstairs, we have our run is going to be 172. All right, so we're looking good. I think we're going to be just fine here. I'm going to then take this floor, use my move tool, tap control, option on the Mac, 
tap the up arrow key, move my cursor up to suggest a direction. I can see right there that my field notes are 110. So I'll type 110 enter. And just to kind of prove that once again, if I use my tape measure tool, we are at 110. All right, and then our run is, is like three inches different on this one. So 153.5 enter. So this guy, I think I could just use my scale tool and pull it out there and I'll clear my guide. So um, let's just do one last double check on this. We're gonna go from, uh, from here to here, 153.5. Floor heights are going to be 110. Uh, I can just go straight down to 121.875. And then from here to here, we are at 156.5. And from here to here is 172. That, my friends, is how you get it done. If you haven't done so already, hit that like and subscribe button. And then follow me over to the full Stair Math Made Easy live stream recording. I kick things off with some drone footage of the actual stairwell construction. And I promise the presentation is packed with advanced tips and tricks specifically for architects and interior designers. I'll see you there.